Well, hello again. I'm Mike Stoklasa, founder of RedLetterMedia.com, your source for all things nerd and geek culture. And with me, as always, is... I'm Jay Bauman, exclusive content creator for exclusive content websites that are available exclusively on the internet. They're exclusive. I'm Rich Evans, and I was once forcibly kicked out of an all-you-can-eat buffet. Welcome, gentlemen, and welcome, audience, to our podcast. Now, today we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to talk about a movie, which is kind of surprising, huh, since that's what we do. We, we, we often talk about films. Uh, we're not talking about films today, except for the ones that we will be talking about. That's right, Jay. And really, when I thought about it, the next film to come out of any significance really is going to be the Justice League. So it might be a while before we talk about a film. <laughs> oh, Mike, don't forget about uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, right, right. Yes, that's right. Uh, if there's one company that I trust to put out a quality motion picture, it's Sony. Yes, yeah, Sony's the best. Well, you know, and let's not forget about those great swag bags they give us full of free toys. Oh, yes, yes. You know, you know, funny story? At the, the last premiere we went to, we were, we were seeing uh, the new Ghostbusters film. And uh, I had to take a dump in my swag bag. Because the film was just so good that I, I, I didn't want to get out of my seat, you know, and leave the film. And, and the Sony representative uh, actually gave me a free replacement. Well, yeah, Sony will do that in exchange for glowing positive reviews. They're the only company I can think of that would take the time to literally clean up your filthy shit and wipe your sweet face. Fat nerd ass. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, which, which, uh, I just want to note: these swag bags are not cheap. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they are filled with toys and promotional materials that sometimes can be valued at, you know, up to twenty dollars. Right, right. Actually, the, the Sony executive who who gave me the replacement swag bag, he actually shoved me up against the table and put his hand over my mouth, and he said, "You better give this movie a good review. My career is riding on this. You fat pudgy." F and then he, then he shoved his hand down my pants, and he put two of his fingers deep, deep into my grundle. I, I think he must have mistaken me for a woman, probably because of my voice. I, I, I would expect such a behavior from Paramount, but not, not Sony. Well, I think it's about that time that we get into our topic for today. Uh, we originally did not have a topic. We were just going to speculate endlessly about all the upcoming pointless blockbusters. But then the big news hit. And Mike, I'll let you take this one. Well, Jay, I think we all know what you're talking about. And on this podcast today, we were going to talk about the death of Carrie Fisher and her legacy. But just today... Some bigger news has come to light. Disney has announced the title for the next Star Wars film. Oh, really? I, I haven't heard this before. What is it? Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Oh, wow. Wow, that is, that is something else. That is really amazing. You know, you know, me personally, I love this film. Oh, no, 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 Rich. The, the film isn't out yet. They just announced the title. Oh, oh well, well, I, I, well, me personally, I actually, I, I, I love this title. We've all had that same reaction in the last few days. The title, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. It's, it's perfect in its simplicity, but complex in its subtlety. Yeah, you know, Jay, that's a really, really eloquent way of putting it. I thought so as well. Yes, and um, to match this amazing title, they have also released. The graphic for the film. Now, let's can we can we put that up? Can we put that up here? Let's take a look. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know you're sitting down, so I'm not going to say you better be sitting down. But uh, here comes the graphic. Let's take a look. Wow, that is that. That's something. Well, everybody, let's talk about the graphic, and wow. the whole internet is ablaze. Well, with what this. what yeah. an embarrassment of riches! Not only do they give us a new title, but they also give us the new logo at the same time, which I think that logo perfectly captures the essence 
of Star Wars. Well, it says Star Wars. I mean, it, it's, it's very big. It's, it says Star Wars much bigger than it says The Last Jedi. Right. Because, and that means they know what's important. Star Wars is very important. Yes, Star Wars is back. It's right. back again. It's back again. Like, I notice that red color really stands out. It's like the first thing you notice other than Star Wars. Yeah, because I think traditionally uh, we would all agree that the logo has always been yellow. Well, well, I think the logo for Return of the Jedi was red. Rich, that's a brilliant point, and it's something that I wanted to address, too, is that the, lo- is that the logo for um, The Last Jedi is red, and Jedi is in the title of both films. And, and I, I like the way that Disney is, well, they're not surprising us too much, but at the same time, they're surprising us because the logos for the original trilogy were, were artfully done and usually the Star Wars was small and it wrapped around the, the font and the, it was different for each film and, and it, you know, it was unique. Yes. But now they're just, they just take the Star Wars logo and they use some kind of terrible font and they put it in the middle and at first when I saw it, I, th- I thought it was a fan film. And I said, that looks like crap. And then when I found out it was real, I said, that looks awesome. <laughs> Aside from the color, gentlemen, which is red with white font, white text in the middle, yeah. um, kind of like an Oreo cookie. Um, or like a Sith lightsaber. Oh, my God. Exactly. I didn't even put that together. The white core, red surrounding. Yes. Um, and, th- and that's the point that I wanted to bring up is that they say the last Jedi, and the the word Jedi is is both singular and plural. And and so, do they mean that that Luke Skywalker is the last Jedi? Um, me personally, I love this film, or I will love this film. But I'm thinking possibly, and I don't want to get too speculative here. This is not what this podcast is about. We're not going to speculate. But really, I think Luke Skywalker is going to die and uh, Rey is going to be the last Jedi. Can, can, we, can we tell anything about the stars in the background of, of the logo? Uh, you know, I tried to look for some sort of pattern or some sort of image in the stars. I thought perhaps we would see uh, a Yoda or, or an Obi-Wan. Like a constellation of Yoda? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, more of like a, if you connect the dots, yeah. it will be the shape. That's what a constellation of... is, yeah. Well, guys, I think that's enough Star Wars talk for today, which is unfortunate because I can talk all day about Star Wars. But right now we need to talk about Geek Crate. That's right, Mike. Uh, I think that we all love Geek Crate because they send you an actual crate. It's a little crate. Uh, Just like the one that housed the Ark of the Covenant. That's right, Rich. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. With Geek Crate, someday I imagine my bedroom will look just like that secret government warehouse at the end of Indiana Jones and... And the Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is one of my favorite films. That's right, Mike. I love the Indiana Jones films. Uh, Me personally, I love all of the Indiana Jones films, even the last one. You know, some people, they didn't think it was all that great, but I thought it was fun. I thought it was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Movies are just, they're just supposed to be fun. They're, they're just, just supposed to be fun, right? Just yeah, turn, turn your brains fun. off fun. Turn, yeah. turn, your, turn your mind off. It's like being dead for 90 minutes, but you're eating popcorn. So everyone, remember to visit geekcrate.com slash redlettermedia for 10% off your first month subscription when you sign a 96-month long ironclad unbreakable contract. That's right, Mike, and I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but Geek Crate is listed as the 23rd best nerd subscription service. Wow, wow. That's just a, a fact that I happen to know randomly. That's pretty good. It, it's such a value. I mean, the money that you spend each month on Geek Crate is like what you spend buying six to eight cups of Starbucks coffee every day, right? Am I right? Yeah, actually, sometimes I even drink more than that. Uh, that's why I have to take hot dumps into my Sony swag bag. Or you could take the money that you would spend on Geek Crate and donate it to some sort of charity that would say maybe, you know, feed up to 100 starving African children. But, you know, you don't get a Darth Vader bobblehead when you do that, at least as far as I know. Well, Geek Crate is our last topic of this podcast. As you know, we are sponsored by Geek Crate and Nerdbox. And up until recently, these companies didn't think this was a problem, but now they're seeing it as kind of a conflict of interest. So we're going to do a little experiment today, if you don't mind, and we're going to let you, our audience, pick which sponsor that we go with in the future, Geek Crate or Nerdbox. Oh, wow, Mike, how are we going to decide this? Well, I'm glad you asked, because today we have two shipments from both Geek Crate and Nerdbox. Geek Crate has sent us their 2017 Superhero Edition crate. 
which is limited, limited edition. And exclusive. It's very exclusive. Yes. And Nerdbox has sent us their annual Star Wars fan-backed backpack pack, which is a real big deal in the geek culture and nerd culture communities. Mike, did you say Star Wars? <laughs> oh, f*** yeah. Well, right now we're going to do a little unboxing video of our own, and we're going to let you, the viewer, decide. That's right, Mike. Uh, leave a comment under this video or on any of our extensive social media outlets extensive, about extensive. which pack you prefer. But but first, remember, if you like this episode and want to download it and others, sign up now on Hearable.com using the promo code RLMNERD, and you can get 25% off the very first all-female Ghostbusters novel, Ghostbusters EVPMS. Okay, we're back, and now Rich is going to take a look at uh, Nerdbox shipment and Geek Crate. Okay, so uh, here we have our, our nerd box, and, and this shows up every month on the 5th. Let's see, let's see what's in it this month. Okay. The thing I really like about nerd box is the packaging. They, they go minimal, you know? They're not wasting your time. Right, right. And you know it's a nerd box because of the logo on the box. It says nerd box on the nerd box. It's brilliant. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we got a, a, a Star Wars backpack here. Oh. Now, we, we should remind everyone that this is the annual Star Wars fan backed backpack pack yes yes this is this is made out of out of genuine artificial materials what kind of backpack is this well this is this is a a kind of small size uh, star wars backpack you mean more like for children and, uh, for, for children or or you know adults who are young at heart now, Rich, it, it looks like this backpack is bursting at the seams with it's, Star Wars goodness. This yes, is yes. this is so full. I, I I I I can't I can't condense the backpack much more than like a quarter inch. It's so full of 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 nerd stuff. You know, I would say uh, that the monthly subscription is worth it for the backpack alone. Right, That's and a good apparently point, there's Jim. more stuff inside of the backpack. Let's see. Let's see what's inside the backpack. Okay. We have, okay. Uh, I, Oh, yarn. We have Star Wars yarn. Oh, wow. Wow. Why is this Star Wars? And uh, next we have... Oh, oh, look. Star Wars Valentines. Uh, nothing says I love you like a black guy holding a gun. Well, yeah, let's see what else we got. There's more in there. And it's just, it's it's overwhelming, really. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's... This is, this is a, a, a Ray action figure... Um, <laughs> this, is, this is clearly not a, a, a surplus Ghostbusters figure that they could not sell. That has been. They did not take a marker and scratch on Ghostbusters. Well, Rich, Rich, Nerdbox. And then slap a Star Wars sticker on the Ghostbusters logo. Nerdbox really, uh, <laughs> we'd like to say, only only sends you the highest quality. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mike, this is the best thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I love this. We have Star Wars cookie oven, uh, a PB sandwich. What else do we have? Uh, we have a Star Wars. Oh, it's, this is a handheld electronic Star Wars game. Oh, oh wow. my God. Very wow. Cool. That's very, very cool. high tech. Very yeah. Cool. Uh, very I, cool. Now, is it just me, or does this product look like it was opened and then resealed with tape, um, and also has a clearance sticker on it? Um, it's a Star Wars, uh, and here we we have a Star Wars uh, blaster. This is the the Star Wars blaster, uh, similar to the one that Han Solo used, but distinct, legally distinct, even though it it clearly it clearly has the Star Wars uh, label on it. Now, that looks like a picture of Kylo Ren. Um, yes, this looks... <laughs> I don't know. And, you know, like like all of the quality uh, nerd box Star Wars merchandise that, you know, has that, star, that sticker on it, that Star Wars sticker, every one of their pieces of Star Wars merchandise. <laughs> and uh, a BB-8 watch, because, uh, you know, watches, you need to know what time it is. How, how are you going to know what time it is? If you don't wear a watch. Yeah, and let me just say, as a grown man, I would not be embarrassed to wear that watch. Not at all. It's not very all. cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear this right now. Rich, that watch looks very cool on you. Very cool, Rich. As they say, debonair. Oh, oh, oh and we have uh, Star Wars a Headache a Relief Medicine. So, 
Is that funny? That's very cool. That's, that's very. It's cool. very cool. Yeah, that is as everything. Look at look at all of wow. the for, value for that one value that nerd box. Look at look at all of this stuff you get. You know, I mean, this is you know probably ten. Maybe eleven dollars worth of merchandise. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, Nerdbox is on the higher end of the Geekbox uh, subscriptions. I mean, sure, sure. one hundred and sixty nine dollars a month. But you know, you, you get a little something when you open up that box. You yeah. feel like it was tailor made for you. Absolutely. And I mean, look how much fun we've had just opening it up right now. That's, that's I can only imagine people at home. For for five minutes, that hole in my soul was just filled with Star Wars. Well. Now that you're filled with Star Wars, let's move on to Geek Crate, which has sent us their annual superhero crate. Are you ready to unbox that, Rich? I'm so ready for that. All right, just dump all this crap on the floor. All right, so we have here our Geek Crate. And as you can see, this comes in an authentic crate. They weren't making it up. No, that's an actual crate. Uh, Let's let's get, oh, it's already, it's already open. Uh, it, it looks like it came open uh, during shipping. Uh, let's. I'm sure that never happens uh, most no, of the time, though. It's very rare. Uh, yeah, very oh rare. God, very just, cool. It just ripped off. I'm shocked. Look at look at all of this goodness in here. We 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 have uh, a, a, <laughs> a, a bin of 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 Avengers hot dogs. Uh, 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 look at I, that. Oh my God. That are those Vienna sausages? <laughs> Yes, they're they're not cut up hot. Are they gray in the middle? <laughs> like I think I are... think these I think these went bad during shipping. I they, they smell great. It's it's a great product. It's truly it's really great. Oh, it smells um, in here now. Now we we have a a, a Batman um, a wallet. With with what? stickers of of Batman on it, um, on the back you can see products that have nothing to do with superheroes. Well, I, I'm sure uh, that might have been I'm an not, accident. I'm not. I'm not sure. Hold on, I, my BBA washer <laughs> went off. Yeah, that's very cool. It's very, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, of uh, Avengers, uh, uh, wall flip flop. Why does it say ninja? Sticky down. Um. You know, this is also a Star Wars product because there is a picture of BP-8 on. Well, how could that be? On the package. Very, Very cool. cool. Oh, we have more more Avengers masks. Oh my God! Now, Rich, can you imagine? Can you just imagine going to a public park wearing that mask? All the children would love you. It would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just don't wear a trench coat. Is that why they run away? That's amazing. That's very that is, cool. That is very really cool. Amazing. Very cool. Uh, uh, um, right now, uh, oh, a Civil War bobblehead. Very cool. And, you know, uh, this has to be made out of some very, like, high-tech material because this this feels like it weighs almost nothing. It's like I am it's like I am holding paper in my hands. Wow. Very cool. So, very cool, Rich. Why don't see, you open that up so we can take a look at the bobblehead. bobblehead. <laughs> what is that? Who? Oh, finally, we have the uh, uh, Batman tension headache relief. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I know I needed some aspirin when I was seeing Batman v Superman. Batman on, on the bottle. Should he be taking that many pills? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Richard, Richard, Richard! 